See what Laulu Akonde exposed. That shock be Afrans about Unam de Kanu. See what Laulu Akonde exposed. That shock be Afrans about Unam de Kanu. So, my dear listeners, this is an interesting news about Laulu Akonde that exposed something about Unam de Kanu. That God be Afran surprised. Kindly stay tuned as I read today's news. Laulu Akonde, a former presidential aide, has recently expressed his, anto- his astonishment as the strategy adopted by Unam de Kanu the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, in pursuing a political resolution for his case, rather than addressing it through judicial proceedings. Akonde shared his thoughts during an interview on Channels TV. Where he elaborated on Kanu's situation, characterizing it as inherently political and therefore requiring a political solution, as reported by newsmen. According to the review that he had expected, Kanu to confront the legal charges against him by demonstrating his innocence in court. This expectation was not was not his alone. Several Southeast senators had also met with the Attorney General to discuss the case, specifics, anticipating a legal route. Akonde pointed out that Kano's situation transcends legal issues, bearing significant political consequences as well. Unamde Kano's issue is very sensitive, Akonde stated. It has implications not only for law and other but also broader political ramifications. He recognized the divided opinions on the appropriate approach to handling Kano's case, noting that some believe Kano should address the serious allegations against him in a judicial setting. Akonde's remarks underscore the complexity of Kano's case, which intertwines legal and political dimensions. The legal charges against Kano include serious offenses, such as treasonable felony and incitement, which carry severe penalties under Nigerian law. However, the political implications of Kanu's actions and the broader Biafra independence movement complicate the situation further. The IPOP's push for the secession of the southeast region of Nigeria has steered significant controversy and tension within the country, making Kano's case not just a legal matter, 
but a national issue with wide-ranging consequences. In his interview, Akonde suggested that addressing Kano's case through political means could potentially diffuse some of the tensions and provide a path towards reconciliation and stability. He indicated that a purely legal approach might not fully address the underlying issues that have fueled the Biafra independent movement and the widespread support for Kanu among his followers. By seeking a political resolution, there might be opportunities to engage in dialogue, address grievances, and find a more comprehensive solution that acknowledges the political realities of the situation. However, Akonde also acknowledged the significant challenges and risk associated with a political approach. Such a strategy could be seen as bypassing the legal system and might set a precedent that could be exploited by others in the future. It also requires careful navigation to ensure that it does not undermine the rule of law or the authority of the judicial system. To my dear listeners,